over Gotland and Foru, one sees these distinctive traditional farm buildings still being built today. The steeply gabled roofs are thatched with a local marsh sedge called Og, and the roofs themselves called Og Tok, Roofs of Og. Some of the buildings are shelters for sheep and known as Lamjeft, and others for the hardy wild Gotland horses called Rusjeft. We're here at the Bunye Museum in the north of Gotland. This is a 17th century farmyard, but this building type dates back more than a thousand years. An og roof is made by throwing forkfuls of the dried sedge up against the upright gable supports. A row of men then stands jumping and compacting it down into a hard mass. They begin here at the eave and work their way up to the ridge. When the roof is completed, a rope is dropped from the ridge down to the ground and is swept across to brush off the excess og. An og roof will never get wet through and yet breathes so that no mold will form within the barn. It's also almost fireproof. It will smolder but not burn, making it safe. And this is og growing in a marsh on Faru. This sedge is extremely well suited as a roofing material. The reeds have tiny sharp teeth along its edges, allowing the sedge to grab and hold each other. It also has narrow channels on its surface, facilitating the drainage of rainwater. Og is still harvested and used today to maintain Gotland's traditional buildings.